Like when I was in gym class in eighth grade, I was drawing on my book with markers, drawing art. The gym teacher thought I was like a delinquent. He's like, Nicholas, I know you're sniffing markers in the back there. Drop down, give me 20. Coach Branson, I still remember his name. He just thought I was just like this degenerate kid. I don't know why. She was right about it. It wasn't right. Interventional radiology is doing minimally invasive surgeries using image guidance. We do several procedures through small incisions. We keep patients out of the hospital and get them home as quickly as possible. Welcome back to Great Lakes Medical Imaging, where we do outpatient IR procedures at our Park Club Lane facility. I'm gonna go check in with the boss. You gonna try it? In my heels? Is it gonna yeah. go exactly when I step on? Yeah. I feel like I'll skid on my face. But it'd be great for the vlog. Do it. The hoverboard I can do. Oh, you can do the hoverboard, you can do the one when does it move when I Okay, do? so here's, here's how it works. Here. I love that you're talking to me like, do you go left foot forward? Like, when I like use when you this, snowboard, yeah. when you I skateboard, I do, do any board sports? No, I'm old. Like, <laughs> I don't, what do you think? I'm skateboarding around town when I get to work on my skateboard. There's, <laughs> There's a sensor right there. That I'm concerned about. You know, Jason, that you say it like you're the expert. You feel like you're like, like Emily. Oh. You're like almost as tall as a normal uh, person Why now. don't you tell, I wouldn't listen to him commercial. I'm an athlete. Roll out the door. Let's roll out the door. Let's go, let's go down the hallway. 100 point turn in Austin Powers. <laughs> I did. <laughs> like K turn. Look at go. Now I can surf. Wait till I try surfing. John, how impressed are you right now? They have to say they're impressed because she's the boss. That's right. Like, she, like they can't say they're not impressed. Wow, that was, that was really smooth. Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most fun I've had in a long time. Isn't that fun? makes my whole day. J Flo, oh, I think you should do it, J Flo. No. To the next case. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> so he, are you are you filming? <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about something called Y90 or Yttrium 90, and it's a way that we can treat liver cancer. So why don't we talk a little bit about it on the board here? because it needs a little bit of a diagram, I think. Let's take a look. All right. It's got a whole uh, idea here already. Sure. Put a tumor right here. Yeah, perfect. It kind of comes over like this. Y90 is yttrium-90, which is a radioisotope. Basically, it's a particle that emits radiation for the treatment of either primary liver cancer, which is known as hepatocellular carcinoma, the most common, or metastatic disease, or cancers that spread from other locations to the liver. Who gets Y90 or who gets a local regional therapy, which is a therapy that we provide as interventional radiologists, either intraarterial or percutaneous or through the skin. So the intraarterial therapies would be Y90, like we're talking about, or something called TACE or transarterial chemoembolization. Basically, we inject chemotherapy into the tumor from the artery. And then the percutaneous te techniques would be ablation. I think we've talked about ablation in the kidney. We, we filmed that on one of our episodes, but we can actually perform microwave ablation or heat ablation of the tumors by going through the skin. So who gets that though? If given the, the opportunity, you wanna have probably surgery first. So if you can, you're either gonna get a transplant or you're gonna get it, the tumor surgically resected or cut out. Only about 25% of patients when they present are actually surgical candidates through transplant or resection. If you can't have surgery, you come see us because our therapies as they turn out are pretty pretty good as well. So the other things that we look at, total bilirubin, which is a, a measure of the, the function of the liver. And the other thing that's really important to me is the, the ECOG status or the functional status of the patient. Are you active and do you have a normal lifestyle or has the, the tumor and the disease process had such an effect on you that you're in bed all the time? Those are two of the major things that we look at. These treatments aren't without side effects and we want to make sure that the patient is well enough to go through with it and have a good outcome. So we've kind of talked a little bit about what's with you and markers. Why you? I just want to make sure everything's neat. She just loves stuff markers. Why not? Get, get away from me. I need a black marker. Get away from me. You need a black marker. The black marker doesn't work. Here you red. I also want red. Get color. away from me. <laughs> Becky's constantly <laughs> drooling on herself behind the camera. She is. <laughs> have you noticed that? I, I love it. <laughs> so let's say that the patient is a candidate for Y90. What steps does it involve? How do we inject these radioactive particles directly into the tumors? As a first step is we'll do uh, an angiogram or a mapping angiogram to map out all the blood vessels. We determine the blood, what blood flow to the tumor is there. We also look at other back doors like the right gastric artery, the gastroduodenal artery, the GDA. And we're looking for blood flow that would Otherwise, if particles went through those vessels, those arteries, it might cause problems because the last thing we want to do is have Y90 particles go places other than the tumor. We either do femoral artery or radial artery access. 
to either come down from the top or come up from the bottom. We use hollow tubes called catheters and floppy guide wires. And we come in and we have our tube coming through here, our catheter coming through here. We can go down initially and we inject some x-ray dye and we'll pacify the GDA, we'll pacify all the blood vessels that go to the liver. So this is a main supply of part of the stomach and the small bowel. If our tumors are being supplied by arteries that were too close to this, we'd want to coil embolize this and block this off so that particles can't inadvertently go down there. And the body has an uncanny way of opening up other blood channels or collaterals, we call them, to these other organs so they won't die or be starved of oxygen. They'll just block this pathway off so that we'll be sure that all the particles when we actually give the Y90, the particles will all go to the tumors. If we find other vessels like the right gastric artery, we wanna block that off too. So we'll coil embolize that off so no stray Y90 particles go to the stomach. And now we've got a nice pruned tree, so, so to say, and we can actually inject our particles and they'll go where we want them to go and not hit any other organs. So we'll put our catheter in here and then we'll do our angiogram. So at this point, we've only done a dry run. We've mapped out all the arteries. We've blocked off the ones that are problematic for the treatment. And what we'll do is we'll do a dry run with something called Technetium 99 MAA, which just stands for macro aggregated albumin. And what that is, it's a radioactive material, but it's far less damaging than Y90. We'll be able to measure how many particles go into the liver. Assuming that we can safely administer Y90 based on that test, then we can do the actual administration on another sitting. So the second setting is the actual administration day. So we have already know exactly where we're going to go. We'll do the exact same thing, catheter in, go into the artery that supplies the tumors. We'll inject the Y90. We'll treat all these guys here and then we're good to go. One other thing to mention is that Y90 is a good therapy if you have something called portal vein thrombosis or portal vein invasion. If you've got tumors, do you have an orange? What happened to the orange? <laughs> Sorry. He's hiding the orange. Bad catch. In some patients, their cancers progress so that the tumors are actually invading the portal vein here. And Y90 is a really good option here for treatment in those settings. So that's... <laughs> was it me? You and I both have cases. Let's here, go. So let's do them. Okay, so now that we've explained that, this patient here, he has cirrhosis, so he has disease in both his left and his right lobes of his liver. So today we're just gonna treat the left lobe and we'll show you how to do that. Bye. We're gonna do this case from a radial axis approach. We're going through the wrist. Basically, we're going to navigate a catheter up the left arm, down the chest, into the abdomen, into the celiac, which is the one of the arteries that supplies the liver and then we're going to select into the left hepatic artery and uh, administer the Y90. That little pulsating circle is a radial artery. Here, a little pinch, one, two, three, and freezing going in, sting and burn. It's purposely going next to the artery, and I'm injecting lidocaine, which is local anesthetic, but I'm also injecting nitroglycerin. The nitroglycerin will actually dilate the artery up and make it bigger so that I can okay. place my sheath a bit easier. Gently advanced wire, goes in, going smoothly with no resistance. And then on the ultrasound, we can follow, we can see the, the wire, that bright echogenic spot right in the middle of the artery. We can actually follow it all the way up the arm. Pin the wire to make it a rail. Advance the sheath. Now the wire comes out and the sheath inner dilator comes out. And now we have access to the radial artery. Take my cocktail, please. Radial artery cocktail, which present, prevents the artery from spasming and clotting off. I do the hemodilute it to 20 cc's. Okay, my friend, you're gonna feel a little bit of burning in the hand. It's completely normal, same as yesterday. Slowly inject our radial cocktail. Tegaderm on, keep this in place. So we're just going to flush out our tubing here, make sure there's no air bubbles. Here's my uh, catheter I'm gonna to use to select into the celiac artery. You can see the wires at the tip. So we'll use that to select into the uh, arteries that supply the liver, the celiac axis. Wires in the ACE and the urine now, so we can pull the wire back down the descending now. The catheter's hub now, tip is into the celiac and going into the common hepatic artery. We're just gonna use a micro catheter from here, which is kind of like a small catheter. Catheter in a catheter, it's like catheter inception. And we're gonna use that to go the rest of the way into the smaller, finer arteries in the liver. Put a little gentle curve on this, nice little hockey stick shape. There we go. Dot there is the tip of our microcatheter, the small little micro wire out, and the tip of our base catheter, the original big one we had, and it's just still engaged right in the celiac there. So our catheter tips in the right spot. Q190 montage.
radioactivity that might have spilled on us or on our hands, feet, just to make sure we contain everything. If it was, if it <laughs> were on fire, you would be, yeah, it would be beeping real fast. Sayonara. See you tomorrow. Are you trying to hide behind me? Bye, Virginia. Bye, fearless leader. <laughs> She's the cop. You want me to go? You can do it. Let's go. share it. Share it. No, go ahead. It's no, a I, John, no, because I don't want to have to deal with the repercussions of you not being the shining star of the vlog. So he did. <laughs> that is not the case. I mean, you that have is. been in a music video, so. <laughs> I you know about that. Oh, I saw it. I saw the music video. You will play a clip of that music video in this uh, in this uh, episode as well, Becky. Yeah, Count us out, John. Count us out. It's been a great day here at uh, Great Lakes Medical Imaging in Williamsville, New York. We got the chance to talk about the indications for Y90 or radioembolization in the treatment of primary and metastatic liver cancer. And for now, I'm Dr. Chris. So delayed. It was, yeah. You asked me to take the lead and then you're not even ready. And I'm Dr. Were... John. We'll see you in the next case.